Hey everybody, this video is just a quick tip on how to use dynamic material instances, which is just really a fancy way of saying you can have a single material instance that has lots of different looks in a given level. And so what we're doing here is instead of taking a material instance and making duplicate assets for each different color, we're using a single material instance, but within the level, we're able to assign different colors to that material instance and adjust other parameters of that so that we can have different looks using a single material instance. Plus, these uh, settings can be exposed to remote control. So if I act the remote control there, uh, that is a property that is now available in remote control. And so this could be used for our um, motion design templates and such if we wanted to. So uh, let's take a look at how we use these and how we put them together. So I'm just going to select these cylinders and delete them, leaving just one behind. Hopefully I can select that one. There we are. Okay, so I've got a single cylinder and it is assigned to this simple material instance. If I double click that instance, we see we have three different parameters that are exposed. There's a base color and roughness and specular. And so when I go over to my details, for this material, there's a button available for create dynamic material. This should be available for any time you have a material instance assigned to either a static mesh or a skeletal mesh. So if I create a dynamic material, now those three parameters are available to me here in the details panel. And note that it is the material level here that got adjusted and has an asterisk next to it, not the material instance. So I can go ahead and change this color, say the blue. And again, it's the level that's got an asterisk, not the instance, control shift S. And I can alt click drag and let's change this now to purple. And you can see that this is very quick for adjusting lots of different colors. And we're using just a single material instance. Again, this data is being stored in the level. So control shift S. And uh, that's basically it. I guess the one thing to note is that if I double click on this material instance and come here to the parameters and, and see that, oh, there's another parameter and I expose it and then save, that new parameter is not going to show up for these uh, static meshes here because they were already created based on the previous definition of that material instance. So I can revert this back to the original material instance and then create dynamic again and now we've got that fourth parameter available. And again, all of these are available to remote control. So in the remote control system, we can go ahead and uh, create controls. Let's see, color, there we are. And I'll drag this on here. And so now this color is bound to our co remote control. And when we make a motion design template, we can change the colors of either objects or different bars and backgrounds in motion design by using this dynamic material instance. Hope this helps. Until next time, have fun.